It's uh, Shadow Threat from Beds Gamers. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a nice little indie game that I am thankful that has been invented. And this is called Pokemon Generations. Um, you can pick this game up for free um, if you just literally just search uh, Pokemon Generations on Google. Or I can pop a link down in the uh, information underneath the video. Right. So... You sat there and you play the you're playing your normal Pokemon game on your DS or your Game Boy, um, and you just sat there like this could be so much better. Well, this game is only an alpha, but I'm going to show you first of all. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, what's been going on. Um, so let's give it a go. Right, so first of all, um, at the moment, the characters aren't. Uh, completely customizable yet, but they say they will be customizing it. Um, they're going to give you options to change your clothing, you know, eyes, hair, and your hair. That's what I'm guessing. Um, yeah, uh, alongside here, you can see you've got all your Pokemon here. Um, they've only got six at the moment until um, until obviously later updates come out and they've actually gone and done all of them I'm not sure if they're going to be doing like the second generation throughout to the sixth or it's literally going to be the first generation personally my personal opinion I prefer the first gen over any of them all because it was part of my childhood it was probably some of yours um, you can't a access the Pokedex, the bag or even the save and load bit, not yet but that will be coming in due time um, right, so what we'll do is uh, first of all, um, you can you can move your party about. You just click them, and then move around. Um, so let's just go, let's go old school uh, from the TV series, and we'll start off with a good old little Pikachu here. And all you do, press the tab button. See, it's even got the sound effects, and I find that absolutely perfect. But now I've sent Pikachu out, as you can see him, and he'll follow me around now. Um, but what I want to do is I want to pick a fight. And we have loads of different choices. Literally, because I, I, I played this earlier on, and I caught all of them, but for some reason let me save them on. So what we'll do is I will sh show you an example of the battle system. Um... The battle system actually I find quite impressive, especially with the fact that you actually take control of your Pokemon instead of sitting there and telling them what they do and not seeing much of it. The moves are a bit limited at the moment, but like I said, it's only an alpha. Um, however, it's going to get a lot better. So here we go. So, the moves are pretty... Cool. Um, you only get the four moves like you do in the other games. Unfortunately, you do have like an energy sort of thing on here. So now that I've killed him, I haven't killed him, but he's down. Um, I can choose to return. So press the same button as we used to get him out. And it's still the same sound effects like from the cartoon. It's fantastic. Um, now. You can still catch him even though he's down for the count. Um, you just press on this little ball here, which is the only button that actually works at the moment. Um, the aiming's a bit off, so you aim a bit above, bam. And it even does a little wobble. It's not obviously, you can't see that well from here, but if you get a go at this game, you'll really, really enjoy it. I mean, I, 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 there's not much to it. It's just literally run around and fight the same Pokemon. But if you're a massive fan of like, the first generation Pokemon as I am, then you will enjoy this highly. Um, so here we've got Bulbasaur. So we'll give this one a go. Um, before we do that, I'll actually show you here. Um, obviously, they haven't built a Pokemon Center and you can't access this building here yet. It's a bit of a bummer, but... There we go. Uh, and all you do is just click on it. Bam. 
And there we go. This game gets updated every two weeks, I believe, and they just bring out more and more stuff. It's just getting better and better. And there is a battle mode on here. Um, so I will show you battle mode much later on. In fact, I'll probably get one of the guys to come and play with me. So then I can give you a proper demo of the multiplayer aspect of this. So, for now, let's burn some plants. So here we have little Charmander who's chilling with his little flamey tail. Here we go. But um, underneath where their health bar is, you've got um, pretty much like their mana or their energy. So I'm guessing they'll probably call it the PP bar or something equivalent. Except the PP will regenerate a bit quicker than give them this potion. So then they will take them to the Pokemon Center, you know, all that stuff. And even the surroundings, it burns a bit. So there we go. Bulbasaur is down. You can also do stuff like uh, I saw this earlier on. Smash stuff. <laughs> Can't wait to see like what Charizard will be like. So there we go. That's him down for the count. But um, when you do play, you'll start off with no Pokemon, but you could literally run up to them. I throw the ball at them. So like this Pikachu here. Oh, perfect shot. Yeah. So you can literally just throw it at them. However, there is I've never actually played as a Pidgey yet, so I will give that a go. Because as far as I've seen. Oh yeah, you can fly. So you could do flight combat. So yeah, you can be fly, that's pretty neat. Well there you go guys, that is Pokemon Generations. I will be doing more and more videos um, whenever a new update comes out and I will show the new updates and the bits and bobs like that. Um, so stay tuned for all that and I will come back with a multiplayer online battle. So see you all later, bye bye.